one thing uh, that is positive is um, there's a lot of security in this country. Um, I actually honestly feel safer in this country than I do in the United States because I know if I go to Ayala Mall walking around I don't have to look over my shoulder nobody's gonna come in there and open fire so and almost every business pretty much not just in Cebu but pretty much across the country every business uh, has security so Safety is definitely not an issue, um, but Cebu does have a lot to offer, uh, plenty of restaurants. If you're out, you know, bar hopping, night clubbing, things like that, that's going to drain you very fast. So you have to be careful, especially if you're on a fixed income. But you can live very comfortably here, you know, especially somebody from the United States on a thousand dollars a month. You know, what are you going to get in the United States for a thousand dollars a month? Uh, here, that thousand dollars a month is going to include your apartment, your utilities, your food, your internet, your cable, everything, and probably still have a couple of dollars left over if you're not reckless. And you don't, you know, with that thousand dollars, you don't have to cook every day, because it's almost just as cheap to eat out in this country than it is to cook. It's almost the same. That's why, you know, what I've noticed in the past six months that I didn't notice last year is every restaurant is packed with Filipinos mainly, um, and I was thinking, wow, these people must have a lot of money. No, it's not that. It's because it's costing them the same to eat in a restaurant. By the time they go through the traffic and buy the food, go home and prepare it, it's the same thing or maybe even more. Now, one other thing that's a concern for me is um, I personally have not gone a lot of sightseeing. I've gone to downtown Cebu, I've seen the churches, you know. Um, it is total chaos as far as traffic is concerned. So one must have a lot of patience if, if you're going to spend a lot of time here to go sightseeing. You definitely have to have patience because a destination that normally would take 10 minutes, like let's say with no traffic at all, with traffic is going to take you nearly an hour to get there. Personally, I don't have the patience to sit in the traffic for an hour or two hours to go to a place where it's only should be 10 minutes away. Um, the other thing is uh, there's a lot of pollution from the cars and motorcycles here uh, and I don't think and the city has seen a tremendous growth I believe in the past five years and their roads were not engineered or constructed I should say to accept this kind of growth so you have a lot of traffic a lot of traffic and expansion is almost out of the question because even if they try to expand a road it's just going to create more chaos than it already was with the traffic and that is one of the drawbacks here and that's why it takes so long to get around but if you have time and you don't care about that then disregard any of this for me it's an issue I'm not gonna sit two three hours in traffic you know round trip just to go somewhere for 30 minutes or half an hour you know for an hour and then come back I'm not gonna do that but if you have time you have the patience it's fine so Dennis are you looking for a relationship that was uh, one of my intentions when I came here six months ago uh, to find somebody immediately, you know. However, I've been here about six and a half months now, and it has been an uphill battle, you know, uh, especially in Cebu and some cities south of Cebu. Uh, what I have noticed, and, and I've noticed last year when I was on vacation here with my brother, we both noticed that 
in Cebu in general, 80% of the women, in our opinion, tend to go towards, you know, uh, somebody with blonde hair, blue eyes, or green eyes, uh, and typically somebody much older. And, you know, I've talked to some Filipino men here about that, and they have told me that it's mainly for monetary reasons. And I'm sure I can meet somebody like that, but that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, I would say that personally here, I've been judged a lot by the women here. Um, they assume automatically that I'm married. I've never had one ask me, are you married? When I have a conversation with one, when I meet one, whether it's in a website or in public, the first thing they ask me is, where's your wife? So they've already established in their mind that this guy definitely has a wife and he's here just to have a good time. You know, they don't ask me, are you married? Are you single? I would prefer that. I think that's more polite. And I think maybe to them, the reason why I have not been able to meet somebody, uh, maybe to them I don't look desperate, I do look confident. and. Um, and I'm not going to settle. Maybe they know that. And maybe they also know that my wallet is going to be harder to open than a guy, you know, 20 years older than me. Uh, first and foremost, whatever woman, whichever woman I find in this country uh, would definitely have to be independent. I Means she has to have a job. Um, I don't require um, for her to be college educated but has to have a job uh, and I don't mean flipping hot dogs you know at a cart somewhere on the street um, would have to be a regular job uh, secondly um, you know more likely she would have to be single without children uh, and that's that's kind of hard to find here uh, third loyal you know, um, and likes to travel, you know, um, that's, you know, believes in, you know, unconditional, you know, respect and, 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 and love, you know. Um, so, it's gotten to a point where I'm actually going to another city that's a six hour bus ride or a seven hour bus ride from here pretty soon to actually meet somebody that's single with no children, self-employed with a family business that's how bad it is for me here um, because I haven't had good luck and I you know I am 58 years old um, income wise I'm comfortable and I still have my retirement to look forward to um, but I'm tired of being alone and and I have faced basically the same excuses and games from the women here for the past six and a half months and I'm tired of it so now I'm resorting to, okay, maybe there are different people with a different mentality, different women with a different mentality in other parts of this country. And I am going to another city called Bacolod. Um, and I have communicated with several women there recently. And they seem to be very responsive uh, with a completely different mentality than the women here. You know, and I have questioned them about you know the blonde hair blue eyes and all three have told me that has no relevancy in what we're looking for we're looking for somebody with a good heart and you know that'll treat us good and that's what I've been wanting to hear from the women here and I have not heard that uh, here they just seem to be just looking for that you know blonde hair blue eyes blonde hair green eyes with a big fat wallet and that's what they seem to uh, go through here. So we will see. You know, at this point, um, I have pretty much given up finding somebody in Cebu. It just hasn't happened for me. Um, that doesn't mean it's not going to happen for somebody else here, you know, but it hasn't happened for me. So, and I am kind of tired of being alone. So, uh, fortunately,
it's so inexpensive to travel in this country that it's worth it for me to go by a seven hour bus ride to meet somebody else. That seven hour bus ride is going to cost me about 10 US dollars. So that's nothing in my eyes. Uh, that seven hours in the United States would be probably $200. So I can go spend three days in this new city and possibly meet somebody that I'm looking for and those three days are going to cost me fifty sixty dollars with transportation with food and all expenses so for me it's worth it because I'm, I'm tired of just going around I'm tired of hearing the same excuses okay and uh, second last question uh, I understand you're an English teacher I am I am an online English teacher I taught English actually in person in Colombia, South America for nearly seven years. Um, I do have my certifications. Uh, I can uh, also, because I speak English and because I do speak Spanish fluently from living in South America, I can actually work in call centers, which is a heavy concentration of call centers in this country, um, and make four times the amount of what a Filipino would make in a call center simply because of my Spanish language skills um, but those would be you know graveyard shifts um, and I'm not really interested in that uh, right now I am looking at a uh, water activity business that I I'm hoping to launch before the end of the year because the tourist season is pretty much starting by the end of this month well we are almost at the end of the month now but um, so that's what I'm looking into doing and my business is going to be definitely on the water um, and that I'm hoping to do by the beginning of January at the latest. Uh, the teaching would be my last resort. Uh, that is something I recommend if somebody's coming out here on a limited income uh, to get some kind of a teaching certification online. You can always work online and do conversations and make money. Um, I can make right now a thousand dollars a month, US dollars a month, working four hours a day if I wanted to, but I haven't committed to that time right now. Um, you can actually work for companies in, in, in the Philippines, but teach in other countries via Skype. Um, you can also teach in person here uh, if you have a degree in education, um, they're willing to pay because there's a lot of students that come from other countries, from Japan, Korea, China, uh, to learn English here. So um, that's the plan for now. You know, uh, my teaching is uh, supplemental income. Um, I do it once in a while. I log on whatever I want and make myself available. But it's not an everyday thing because I can't commit to the time right now because I'm really researching and focusing on the, on the uh, water activity business that I plan to put here pretty soon. Okay, some closing tip. If they're lonely there. Um, uh, come into a you know third world country you know uh, obviously it's got its advantages first of all you know the cost of living like I said I, I'm living one third on one third right now or maybe one fourth I should say um, you have to be careful of who you choose here um, because like I said earlier they uh, you know I would say a greater percentage of them Personally, I think 80% of them are looking for monetary, uh, but it seems to me like some men don't care about that. They don't mind that because, you know, the guy is 65 years old, he's got a 25 to 30 year old holding him, you know, holding his arms or holding hands, and he seems to be content. He doesn't have a problem with that. I personally have a problem with that. I, I'm not going to be with somebody that's just with me for my wallet. Um, but absolutely they would be better off coming here not necessarily Philippines go to Colombia South America where I lived for seven years or you know another Latin country or Vietnam or Thailand whatever um, I believe uh, you would be able to find somebody much easier in this country and put an end to the loneliness quicker than you would in the United States and uh, the biggest benefit of leaving the United States is, um, and living in these countries, I should say, is 
uh, you basically have zero stress. Um, it makes a huge difference on your health um, because your stress on a daily basis is going to be where I'm going to eat lunch today, what am I going to do this evening? Uh, because everything is on a slower pace, obviously except for the traffic, that's total chaos. But everything else is a much slower pace, uh, people are a lot more polite, and most importantly, you don't have to worry about getting shot somewhere if you're standing in line to buy something in, in a 7-Eleven, which they have plenty of 7-Elevens here, by the way. Uh, my opinion, it's much safer to live here, and if you're on limited fixed income, uh, staying in the United States is a mistake. 